It's Feature Friday ELP Modeling. Now a lot of people ask me what it was exactly that got me back into the hobby. Well, this builder is the sole reason. His name is Carl Briffer and his JDM Garage Diorama caught my eye one day on YouTube and the rest, as they say, is history. Now on to his impeccable Nissan Skyline R33 GTR. Starting at the rear and building up to the surprise at the front shows us Carl's custom made rear bumper created using body filler, Tamiya putty and styrene. Keeping the rear spoiler the way Nissan intended its centre section and end plates are donned in scale motorsport carbon fibre. The exhaust is also a custom piece with an aluminium tip but more on that in a little bit. Working our way to the front of the car we can't help but notice the carbon side skirts Carl created using styrene sheets in a mixture of thicknesses to enhance the already brutish lines of the R33. Very reminiscent of the Z-Tune side skirts we'll start to see how that car is influenced and enhanced this skyline as we go. A nice touch and something you could almost overlook are the carbon fibre B pillars too. The front bumper hasn't escaped Carl's creative touch with a scratch built lower section mated to a splitter from an R34 Z tune adapted to fit using styrene. You'd be mistaken for thinking it came from the factory like this. Wearing a genuine Nissan shade of AH3 Red Pearl Metallic and Capsi 2K clear coat, the colour contrasts perfectly with the bronze wheels fitted. These being the Nismo LMGT4s wrapped in Bridgestone Potenza tyres from an R34. Enhanced furthermore with tuna model air valves for added realism. Now the best bit. Carl has gone above and beyond and made the kit Tamiya should have in the first place. A complete scratch built engine bay using a mixture of putty and styrene to house the RB26 DETT engine from an R32 kit, but with a few upgrades. Carl has ditched the traditional twin turbo setup in favour of a larger single turbo. Extra breathing power comes in the form of a scratch-built air filter. Keeping the engine at optimal temperature, a custom intercooler was fitted with bespoke piping too. The chassis is kept rigid thanks to the inclusion of the scratch-built strut brace. Taking a closer look at the chassis now, you can see that Carl has gone with a nice mix of colours that really add to the overall look, including blue anti-roll bars, a body-coloured chassis and gold brakes. The small details really make all the difference, especially the exhaust with its subtle weathering hinting towards the fact that this car is hardly a trailer queen. The Japanese tax disc in the front window is certainly proof of that. So when it's being driven you need to be seated well and safe, right? Well these needs are met perfectly with a set of red Bride Vorga seats and a set of Takata harnesses belted up to the scratch built Cusco bar behind. Aber photo etched hardware was used along with tuner model green harnesses for the ultimate street and track weapon look. The finishing touches being the Nismo steering wheel also donated from the Z tune and a semi carbon fibre dash to really update the looks of the cabin. Grey flocking was used alongside a selection of Humbrol paints to really give the interior that realistic look. The matching red door cards and rear seat inserts really bring the cabin alive and work perfectly to complement the darker colours used. I must say this is and probably always will be my favourite R33 model I've ever seen built. The attention to detail in every aspect of this build astounds me and when it's parked up at his garage diorama it brings the model to life even more and let's be honest, you'd mistake this for the real thing when you saw it. A big thank you to Carl for letting me feature this wonderful build. I look forward to featuring more of your work in the future such as your yellow Evo 7. If you want to see more of Carl's work as it happens, his website and YouTube channel links are in the description box. If you would like your build featured, please visit elpmodeling.com forward slash feature Friday submission and follow the simple guide on how to get your build featured. Every entry I receive will be featured, just don't forget to send the photos in too. Have a great weekend everyone, Sunday's review is the Fujimi Mark II Grande. I'll see you there, keep modelling, bye bye.